Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Dumpster Cam. I'm coming at you today with another fabulous Dumpster Dive haul plus a little bit of disappointment. Um, but I will share that with you as well. Now that I am back filming more videos and dumpster diving again that the summer's coming to an end, we got some good stuff and it was exciting to drive around today and find a, a pretty good car load. Um, unfortunately, not all of it's going to be savable as you'll see but there is still quite a bit of good stuff as well so before I do that though I just want to show you one thing um, because I am going to be posting soon when I say soon I mean within the next month hopefully um, maybe sooner if I if I'm ready by then <laughs> but um, my before and after pictures and videos of my house and this is going to be in the video and I just kind of wanted to give you guys an actual view of it and give you a little details before you just kind of see it in the video. So it is this above my stove. Um, one may say it's a range hood, but it's not. It is literally just um, like the trifold cardboard poster boards, like the thicker ones, and then some wood trim on the outside, plus a shelf that I put there as well. So obviously it's not functional, it's not real. Is it a fire hazard? Probably, but I mean, it's fine. And I wasn't expecting the trim to be so gray. I thought it would be more of this shelf color, but that's fine as well. Um, it's just a little cover right now. If you remember, I have that ugly wonky, and again, you can see it at the top, tube behind there. It's not perfect. I just wanted something up there. And I wanted somebody to, like a professional, to build me a wooden one, like an actual fake would cover like this but multiple people told me no and that it wasn't possible um for my kitchen and I was like why well, why <laughs> so I just built this little one by myself temporary for right now but it'll do it looks better than the the tube um but again it's just cardboard so I wanted you guys to see that more in depth before you just kind of see a glance over of it in my video so there's that all right, moving on to the dumpster dive haul for today. I found all this today. Um, one little go around, super fun. This is adorable, but unfortunately it's not perfect. There are two shams though, two pillow shams. Maybe those aren't the shams. Okay, so here you can see the quilt was ripped, or uh, not ripped, it was cut purposefully by the store. However, there are two pillow shams that were not cut. They're a little bit dirty, but those can just be washed up and donated as well. And I thought the blanket was still salvageable for something. So I'll see what I can do. There was also a matching throw pillow and a little pink pillow as well, but those were sliced up pretty badly. So I didn't take those. And then I got this little white clock. Nothing wrong with that. Just came out of the packaging. Super cute. Over here, and I don't always take broken things, but today I was in a crafty mood, I guess. It has the broken piece on the inside. I think I'm just going to glue it up and maybe paint it because this is a pinkish color. I wish it was like a terracotta, but that's from Joann's. I think that's cute. Two things from Aldi. Some honey gold bite-sized potatoes. And a thing of broccoli, a few crowns. Those look pretty good. And a very small amount of things from Dollar General as well, as well. Some breadcrumbs. All that happened was this plastic top popped off. But I just found that and put it back in. And this has a whole over a year left on its suspected shelf life. But we know about that. Um, I have two things of these Dollar Dorito type bags. And then three little cups of fruit gels. They're just mandarin oranges in some gel. Moving along back here to CVS, again, it's always a classic to find a bag of snacks in the CVS dumpster. Um, they're a go-to, and I thank them for that. <laughs> I have two giant things, and I say, these are giant, of these veggie straws right here, and then a whole pile of the little individual store brand veggie sticks. So I guess I will be snacking on those for a little while. Let me move around to the other side. Oh, I forgot about those. I'll show you these right now. This also came from a different CVS, but I'm assuming somebody else dumped it there. It is just a bag of returnables. So like pop cans, as you can see, um, Pepsi, 
So I can return those for 10 cents each at the grocery store. Back to this side, I have four of these giant sharing size Skinny Pop popcorn. Three of them are white cheddar. One of them is the original flavor. The white cheddar is undeniably the better flavor, so there's that. <laughs> I have some Ritz, two of the smaller packs, and then one of the bigger packs. Ritz are great. You know, put anything on them. They're soft. Fabulous. One thing of lemon and cream shortbread cookies. I will probably keep those for myself. And then one tiny pack of kale and spinach tortilla chips from CVS still as well. Next to that, I have a, a good size pile of the, I don't know, I think they're actually black and white on the inside. I actually don't know if they're still normal Skittles on the inside or if they're colorless as well, but these are from um, Pride Month. I don't know, but those are good. And then one thing of fudge brownie M&Ms right there. Next to that, I have a, a mountain of the donuts, the um, sugar, powdered sugar donuts. There you go. I'm not a huge fan of these, mostly because of the, like, the texture and the feeling they leave in your mouth, but I'm sure somebody will enjoy these. And then I have another pile of these Extreme Heat Fireballs from CVS still. They're just like the store brand Hot Cheeto Balls. And then back here, I have a whole bunch of these classic blend trail mixes. These will not go to waste. And then one Slim Fast original can. Brand new. Um, one thing that I do miss from my park that I live in since it got bought out, there used to be a community food pantry in the office where people could take food and then you could leave food. Um, obviously non-perishable items. But since they got bought out by the bigger company, they don't do that anymore, unfortunately. So it was nice while it lasted a little bit. Okay, now moving on to the least of the disappointing parts of the disappointing parts. We'll start here. I wasn't actually going to take this originally because I just saw the broken part at first, but it is a little stack of pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns, and I do have all the pieces. I'm going to try to see if I can glue them back together, make it salvageable, salvageable at all, and I will update you guys on that, but it's broken into quite a few pieces, so we'll see. Okay, we are now at Big Lots, and Big Lots has these giant bags that I find things in, um, and they're usually filled with great things. So I saw these two bags. I took a little peek inside. I saw that something had spilled in this one. Um, but I took them anyways. And what had actually happened was... You guys see those little bottles of Cranch um, or Mayo Chup? It's like ketchup mixed with ranch and mayonnaise and stuff like that. They dumped those purposefully in this bag um, and dumped jars of peanuts as well to cover everything in this bag purposefully but I mean it was a little bit gross digging around I was able to save one two three four five six seven eight jars of planters peanuts some of them aren't badly affected at all like this one's pretty good let me here I'm gonna unscrew this one to make sure that they didn't like puncture no this is this is sealed for sure yeah okay so these are sealed um I don't know. Sometimes they do things like this. Whatever. But I just have a lot of peanuts and then tons of popcorn as well. But they dumped them out. I, th I thought originally they put baked beans on them, but those are just peanuts. So some of them are the Blasto Butter. Some of them are the Simply Popped. Stuff like that. So again, I'm going to be snacking on popcorn for a long time here. But some of them, some of the peanuts, like I said, were opened. And then obviously I wasn't able to save any of the condiments. Oh, and then I have this little sign that says, hello. And I don't see anything wrong with this either. Obviously, aside from it being covered in ketchup. Um, Big Lots has done this to, not to me, but to divers before where they covered everything in barbecue sauce. Stores seem to go through phases sometimes where they just get angry. <laughs> um, one of my CVSs used to do it, but they've stopped. The Dollar General used to do it religiously, but that has been 
a while since they've done that, so I'm thankful for that. And like I said, this Big Lots has done it a few times before, but it never never sticks. So we can hope hope that they will stop doing that again soon. Um, and then this is the other bigger bag of disappointment. This was actually the bag I was started taking out when I was setting up this video. And then I noticed that I cut every bag of chips. So, they're all... Um, this one's cut somewhere. They're all sliced open. This whole big bag of chips. Sliced open. So those are not salvageable. Unfortunately, they will just go back into the garbage. But... I was hoping I could save them, just not going to happen today, but I did manage to save all of this, which was still fun and still a great save from dumpster diving. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Dumpster Cam, and I will be back soon with more dumpster diving in-house related videos. Thank you.